is Asian American Pacific Islander Month and also Skin Cancer Awareness Month. And joining us now to speak about both and of course common skin conditions and skin cancer among the AAPI community is board certified dermatologist and founder of M Beauty Clinic, Dr. Tess Mauricio. Thank you so much Hi, for coming yeah, in. I feel. You know, we all have skin. Um, it, it was unusual to me to hear that because of our ethnicity, certain things can be more common. Absolutely, and, and thank you for covering this because even among dermatologists, this is still something that's not widely known, that there are specific and unique consideration for AAPI skin. And so I'm really, really happy we're discussing this. It's important. What are some of the skin conditions? Well, I think eczema is the top one you know, to really consider. I trained here at um, UCSD for dermatology, and at the Children's Hospital, we saw a lot of Asian Asian Pacific Islanders with eczema. And eczema can, you know, um, basically um, it's itchy, rashy skin and it can happen in kids and it can disrupt sleep and it actually is um, very high incidence in, uh, uh, with anxiety and depression in those with eczema. And then skin discoloration because we have natural pigment the melanocytes, which are the skin cells that create pigment, are more active. And so we can have things like sunspots, age spots, melasma, which is a huge problem um, and very difficult to treat. And um, then, of course, you know, acne. And for um, AAPI population, acne can be a problem because we are more sensitive uh, to the products that we use so we can have more hypersensitivity and um, also issues with allergies. What about skin cancer overall? Well, you know, this is one myth. Uh, a lot of people think that it only happens on Caucasian skin, but in all skin colors, there is a possibility for skin cancer. And specifically, you want to look out for melanoma, which is obviously you know, a deadly type of skin cancer. So it is a misnomer that basically, because we are darker, you know, we often, we don't burn as easily as Phil does. Yeah, <laughs> but, sure. but the fact is, we can still be susceptible to skin cancer. Oh, absolutely, and melanoma and skin cancers um, in the, the palms and the soles and also the nails. So those are areas that we really need to take a look at and even the scalp. So talk to your hairdresser, you know, because if there are any changes and new bumps and growths that aren't healing, you should consult your uh, board certified dermatologist. I know we're talking about more than one thing, but obviously uh, AAPI community sees more common conditions like melasma and, and discoloration, and that is because we have a higher content of melanin in our skin. Absolutely. Um, but is it easy to treat? Well, you know, you have to go to an expert because we also have a lot of uh, potential complications when the wrong treatments, you know, lasers and chemical peels are used. We are more prone to scarring and keloids. And so these are things that really should be known to the practitioner who's treating you. So I really recommend you go to a board certified dermatologist who specializes in skin of color. Tell us about this free skin cancer screening event that's coming Absolutely. up. Absolutely, it's very hard to get into a dermatologist okay. now. And so if you, because of this segment, you're looking at your skin, there's something new. We are offering free skin cancer screening next Thursday, May 18 at M Beauty Clinic in Miramar. And so just call and contact us. We'd love to see you and just really get educated. Um, you know, do a self skin exam once a month and call the clinic, email us, and this is absolutely free in honor of um, Skin Cancer Awareness Month. And there it is, all that information on the screen for you, uh, the location and the time. Of course, you can go in any day on, or any time on the May 18th, correct? Yes. Just give them a call. All right, Dr. Tess Mauricio, we appreciate you coming in. It is important for us to always check. Yeah, by the way, you can also catch her on segments of the Localist SD. Yeah, That's and right. for more That's information, obviously, right. go mm -hmm. to our website, fox5sandiego.com. Dr. You. Tess, thank you. Thank you.